in the loop panel, which is located on each side of the virtual deck. So basically you've got two here and then you've got two right there on this side. If you open this panel over there, in and out on this side, in and out on that side, all right. The out point is selected by pressing the out button. And then if you press the loop button, uh, it'll turn the loop on or off. So for example, if we go back to this side, and then here you press, right now the loop is on, as you can see. But if I want to disengage it, I just press on that button, and then the loop becomes grayed out, and it's gonna keep playing. It didn't loop anymore. But you have to be in the loop. So if you trigger the loop again, it automatically go to loop on, but then if you press on this again, it disengages it. All right, so hopefully that's clear. So, apart from that, those manual loop points, they can be adjusted. All you need to do is while the loop is playing, just press the in button, which will start blinking. And this will stop the loop from scrolling, but then it'll bring the focus on the end point of the loop, which can be adjusted by pressing the left or the right arrow keys. The left arrow will nudge the end point earlier, and the right arrow will push it later. And if you want to press, press the shift key while pressing the arrows, you're gonna make adjustments in larger increments. So the same method can be applied to the out point. But at the end of the day, you know what, for me, to be perfectly frank, I don't use manual loops all that much because I find them a bit imprecise, especially if you're in a performance situation, you wanna be a bit more precise because what if you just hit it and then you get a bit flustered and you gotta dance floor, it's like, oh my God, the loop doesn't loop right and sounds all crappy now. Here we did it because you know we were on it, but there's 50 chance that you might, 50% chance that it might not work. So in, instead of that, what I think you guys should be really taking a look at, it's, to use basically what's called auto loops. And these, to my, in my opinion, are a lot more uh, useful than uh, manual loops. And I'll show you why. Essentially, if you want to, um, so what's an auto loop anyway? Well, the auto loop is the ability to create up to five loops, same thing, per virtual deck, automatically and instantly. And then this feature is only available to tracks with BPM info. So what'll happen is that Serato DJ is gonna automatically determine the exact in and out points once the user sets the number of beats that should be looped. So let me show you. If you go to Serato right here, you can tell it like if you stop the track and you go say here, it'll automatically figure the right point and if it, this will be the number of beats that you want it to loop for. So if you press four, It'll automatically create that, and you, as you can see, we've selected it. Now if you press play, four beats. One, two, three, four, loop, two, three, four, loop, two, three. You can turn into eight, for example, check it out. And if you can count, it's really eight beats. Check it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I would do if I were you, for example, is you can use that auto loop, and then you can use it to trigger a new track. So for example, say, say for example, that track is, is playing in your headphones, right? You've got that track in your headphones, but you've got that guy playing in the back. So for example, if you, if, you, if you play this guy, say we've got it at also 127, you know, we're preparing the track and it's playing out loud from the top, so we've got it playing, you know, say, you know, this one, this guy's playing in the background. So this one's playing out loud on the right, but I mean, I can see that on the left side, I've got a loop going on. So all I need to do is to, for example, Start it one, and then you can adjust it a little bit with the with the uh, with the controller. You know, you can move it so that it it, loops, it looks really good. And I don't even need to check it with my headphones. I can already tell that right now it's been adjusted and it's sounding perfect. So now all I need to do, so I've got that track on the right that's playing, and in the background on my left, you can see that eight bar loop. So let me show you what it would sound like if I introduced you, if I introduced in the controller, and let me show you the controller for a second so you can see what it looks like, because Serato is gonna stay just like that. But if you look at the controller, the guy on the right is up, the guy on the left is down. I'm gonna turn down the EQ on my low end to make sure that there's not get muddy, and look at what it's gonna sound like. Check it out, I'm moving this up, check it out.
cats are playing together. 